Cabana Bay Beach Resort is a value resort with a lot to offer. From multiple bars and lounges to two pools equipped with a lazy river and a water slide, there is something in this hotel for everyone. Its decor and ambiance is that of the 50s and 60s Florida beach resorts. You see this mostly in the lobby as well as the bright colors in the rooms. If you're looking to get resort-specific merchandise, you're in luck. The Universal Store carries merchandise both exclusive to Cabana Bay and sold in the parks. While dining on site is limited, the quick service restaurant Bayliner Diner has lots to offer, open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily. Also in store is the Starbucks, which will be full service, not one that just serves Starbucks coffee like the other resorts. It also takes Starbucks rewards points. Perhaps the biggest feature is Galaxy Bowl. A unique experience to the hotel, guests can bowl up to an hour at one set price of about $14. If you're staying for an extended amount of time, there is a laundry room as well as a fitness center. To get to the parks, your transportation option is the bus. Luckily, it only makes two stops, Sapphire Falls and Cabana Bay, before taking you right to CityWalk Security. This can take a while still, as a lot of the guests use the bus to get to the parks. There's also a walkway path to Volcano Bay. Overall, this is a great value resort with lots to do on your day off from the parks. So this is what the room looks like. I have two beds, even though I'm just, just me. Um, very retro beachy vibe is the whole you know, vibe, not to say it twice, of the hotel. Also, I have very similar chairs to this at home, so I find that very funny. Um, let's see what we have here. We have a little mini fridge here. Um, and some drawers if you want to unpack if you're going to stay a while. Now, I know there's a lot of suites in this hotel, which are pretty decently priced as well. Um, if you're coming with the family, this is probably the hotel to stay at if you're looking for a budget. Um, looks like we have extra pillows and a blanket, ironing board, the usual stuff that they have at hotels. Um, I really like this little bathroom area, so out here the sink and everything is out here, which was the same way in Hard Rock, and then in here is your toilet and the shower, and it looks like a pretty decent shower. Um, comes with some shampoo and body wash, which I always bring my own uh, shampoo and conditioner, but body wash you always bring. And then there's a big floor length mirror in here, and that is pretty much the room. So I will show you the pool area next. Also like even the shape of the mirror is retro looking.
with me there's a fire outside. That is funny. Mm -hmm. It's the pond down here around the corner. Yeah, can we wait till it gets Okay, then she's gonna take care of this right now. This is what I wish my house looked like. Remember to keep your ticket with you at all times. You will need your park ticket to re-enter the locker after riding. Remember to keep your park ticket with you at all times. You will need your park ticket to reopen your assigned locker. Look at these posters. So cool. Shirt. I love the different colors they have going on. So that has the posters on the t-shirt. might get the poster to be Double check, but I'm not waiting in a hundred minute line, which is what the wait time is right now. We have the Mardi Gras merch in the All Powers East store.
I already showed this in a previous vlog, but we're gonna go to the right because I never go that way. And I've honestly never eaten at any of these places and I'm kind of intrigued to. Especially the green eggs and ham place. Um, but the trolley is currently closed and the carousel is currently closed. So that is a bummer for kiddos because those are some of the kid-friendly kid rides here. Um, and obviously this section is a very kid-friendly section. side of Marvel Superhero Island, so I don't think it's anything particularly special. That sounded beautiful. <laughs> um, we have an arcade, we have the gift shop for Spider-Man, Spider-Man there. We see in the distance, there's a couple of shops, and again, the shops kind of sell the same stuff, so that's kind of a bummer. The coolest thing about this area is the artwork. Now, we have giant comic book drawings like this one of Wolverine here. And they all have a signature in So you just have to search for the signature, but it's on some cool ones. Um, my favorite is probably Kingpin. Although I love the one of Namor the Submariner. That's on the other side. And there's some Auntie Aunt pencils. And over here, we're gonna go over here.
just walking around. It's cool.